everyone, it's Brian here. Today I'm coming on to do week one of Crafting Michelle's Haunted Halloween collab. And we got a lot of talented and gifted crafters from around the world working on this collab. And my offering for this first week is a jack-o'-lantern. But you would ask, why a jack-o'-lantern? I mean, can't you just get one at the grocery store or something? No, nope, I'm not talking about one of those. I'm talking about one of these from the Tide Pods container. I'm going to show you how to turn this to jack-o'-lantern. But first, we got to get the label off. So what we're going to do first is get some goo gone, like this here. I'm not sure if it's available around the world or not, but if it's not available where you are, I'm sure there's something else that would work. This is just a good adhesive remover, and it's made mainly from citrus. So let's see, main ingredient is, it doesn't say. Okay, but. It just don't use on silk leather suede rubber faux uh, stainless faux stainless steel drywall unfinished wood surfaces and unsealed stone of which this is none of so what we're going to do now is pour some on here I'll go ahead and coat it real nice coat and we're going to wait a little while. Actually, first we're going to go ahead and do the other side in the top part. So you're going to want this off too. We're going to try to do something with this top portion. And then do the same thing with the back. Use about half of it already on just one and a half. There you go. Let that be coated real nice. And in a little bit, it should start peeling off. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'll show you how to peel that off. But I'm going to just wait on that because I already have another one that's already done. I'm going to show you what this looks like when it's already done. It's going to look like this. I know I made some nicks in the front on this one. And this is the back of it. It came off very nicely. That I still have to do a little more work on. But I may want it roughed up a little bit. Because I may want to paint this. So. The plan is to put a face on here. Maybe some words or something like that. Like spooky. Who knows possibilities are endless at this point so I'm gonna be back in a little bit and I will show you how to get the, the sticker the stickiness and whatever the labels whatever you want to call it off of this thing so I'll be back all right so I'm back I'm gonna show you first how to get something like this top label off Basically, what you're going to do is just go around little by little, lift up the adhesive all the way around. If it does rip some, don't worry, you can always put a little more on there after you're done getting the main part off. So we're just going to keep on doing like this all the way around. In my case, I have short fingernails, so it will be more difficult for a person like me who has, like I said, short fingernails. So, I'm going to go ahead and start doing some more. Go this way now. Start going this way. Go some more. So on and so forth. And at this point, you should probably just start taking the label off. Like so. It's going to take some time. Just don't worry about it. You'll get it done. I promise. You can C. 
see it's coming off nicely. And this is not typical, y'all. There will be places where it rips and you're going to have to go over again, maybe a few more times afterwards. This is just not typical results here, what you're going to get. So we're just going to continue on with this. Get it all off. And then, after we're done with that, I'm going to wipe it down again with the same paper towel. It's already soaked by now. So it should work just fine. And we're almost done here, it looks like. Almost there. And there we go. All we have here to mess around with is this little area here. And I'm sure that'll come up quite easily. I'll just go ahead and wipe that real quick. It should come off pretty quickly. And there it pretty much has come off now. Some of this may actually be just the plastic was nicked or something. So, there we go. We're going to get this little part off here too. And after that, we're going to work on the other part, the main part. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, so now I'm back again. We're going to tear off these labels like so. This has partially, you know, been soaked. So what we're going to do is go ahead and do like this. Tear everything we can off. And then, after that, I'm going to soak it one more time. Gonna try first just using this here. And this should do the trick. This is pretty much soaked already. So this may be our key to getting the whole thing done. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? I should leave this a couple more minutes, but due to the fact that I just want to get this done right now, apparently I'm not going to wait a couple more minutes. And you'll hear the You'll hear this popping a lot too because you're putting pressure on it. And let's see if this side's doing any better. Well, it's doing a little better. And get that top part of the label off on most areas. So, what I'm going to do now is. Just a smidgen more on. And this is going to be very difficult to open, believe me. I mean, it's not even one to open for me. This is happening, y'all. This is happening. But main purpose of this is we're well. What we're just gonna do is go ahead, try to get this off, but it won't work right now. Let's try to wipe this down some more. See, it'll start coming up pretty soon. Now, this is going to come off a little bit better at least. See these edges? The edges are the key. Once you get this soaked, you can just start on the edges after a couple minutes. 
you can leave it even a couple hours. That would probably be best. If you leave it more like an hour or two, it'll come off. But enough of this. I'm going to be done with this right now. I'm going to go ahead now and just go ahead and start with the actual project. Okay, so we're back. What we're going to do now is I am going to get on Cricut Design Space and I'm going to go ahead and look up some jack-o'-lantern faces or pumpkin faces. I'm also going to try to do like maybe some kind of font on here as well. I'd rather use this side even though there's a nick there because this side looks more like a jack-o'-lantern than this side with the handles. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll be back soon. We're going to get this project really going. Okay, so now I'm back. I've got what I want to put on here. It's going to be difficult to do this simply because of complexity of this project. I mean, of this cut that I had done. And please do excuse the fact that I used glitter washi tape to hold down the vinyl. It's a long story. Couldn't find any other tape right away and I wanted to get back to the camera before it timed out, which it did. So there we go. But what we're gonna do now is go ahead and put this up. Right there on the side wall. Now I'm gonna go ahead now and start figuring out how I'm gonna get this image onto the um, onto the um, thing. Okay, so got a little problem here to start off with. This cut down too deep. I don't want to have to do this again, but it may have to happen. Don't know what happened. It was on vinyl. It happens sometimes. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut right here the edges of the face. I'm going to put that right there. Like so. I wanted this to be in black vinyl, but unfortunately I do not have any black vinyl this time. So this is what's going to have to do. I'm going to try to get this back up again. Scrape it on up. There we go. So look correct. And this needs to go like so. So far so good, kinda. So now I am gonna go ahead and take the rest of the vinyl off that doesn't belong like so want to do this very carefully so I don't hurt anything and then what I should have done in the first place is gone ahead and gotten some transfer adhesive. It's still one of those transfer sheets and went ahead and done that like so. But right now I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get everything match up as well as I can. And also going to need to do something about this. There we go. 
Here we go. Now I'm going to get this out of here and this out of here. Then we're going to put the rest of it onto here. And we may or may not put some writing on there afterwards. So, you know, the one time you need something so badly, you always find when you don't need it, but when you need it the most, you can't find it. It's one of those times I'm going through right now. So, I will be right back. Alright, I came across some transfer paper. I mean, some transfer adhesive. What we're going to do is take it off the backing. Lay it onto, this, onto the vinyl we want to be transferred. Like so. Try not to have any bubbles in there. And then, this is another good use for the Cricut scraper. Rub it in real well. You need to rub this transfer adhesive onto the vinyl the best you possibly can. The reason for this is, because if you don't, you won't have much of a grab, if any. So what I'm going to do now is try to get this up. See, it's not coming up over there, so I'm going to have to do that some more. And you should probably also go ahead and take my advice when I say to lift up slowly. What I did just now was not slow. See? It's coming up very nicely right now. Except right here where I had a little run in earlier. So I am going to go ahead and put that down like so. And we are going to match this up right here, right now. Y'all, we're almost done here, it looks like. Almost, almost done for this part. So what I'm going to do now is burnish again. Burnish very, very, very well. And I'm sorry for the annoying noise that the container is making when I do that. It pops up when I push down on it. Can't help that because that's going to be part of the process. I've got a pretty much perfect match over here. Remember now, this is where I cut it. It is almost completely a perfect match. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off this the rest of the way. If you really wanted to, you could replace this onto the, onto the sheet. But right now, I don't think that's a good idea because I don't know when I'll use it again, if ever. So I'm gonna get these bubbles out real quick. And y'all, we have a spooky face. Oh wait, there's more. I'll be right back for the best part. Y'all, just take a look at this. This is the finished product. I put a couple of those tea light candles that are battery operated inside to give it the glimmer in the glow and spectacular in this of a real jack-o'-lantern I would say right now never put a real tea light candle in there only the battery powered ones now, I'm sure y'all would know that but just want to remind y'all and also you could also you know paint this if you wanted to this top lid but I chose not to because simply because I didn't have enough paint brushes or the, even the right size paintbrush at the time, so 
take a look. This is the conclusion of week one of the Haunted Halloween collab with Crafty Michelle. See y'all next time. Bye.